Hey folks, welcome to our new series, Soft Plastics 101. Over the coming weeks, we're going to run you through soft plastics fishing from the absolute basics into some more complex rigging so that you can hopefully get out there and hook up to a few. Firstly though, a lot of people ask me why fish soft plastics? Why do you fish soft plastics? And probably 90% of my fishing is actually soft plastics fishing. And the reason for me, number one reason is because they're extremely effective. Soft plastics are available in a myriad of styles, from crabs, prawns, bait fish, through to even frogs. So you can match the hatch. You can choose a plastic that suits the food that the fish are feeding on. So with that wide variety, there's no doubt that you can find one that is effective for the, the species that you're targeting or the technique you're using. And also colors. There's a stack of different colors. You walk into a tackle shop and it is just a wall of color in the soft plastic section. And that's so that you can again match the hatch but also you might find a standout a bright a fluoro color that really appeals to the fish in your region or a particular time of day water clarity and we'll get into that further down the track but the main thing is they're effective because there is so many different models available so many different colors available and also they feel real you know that soft plastic it feels like food it feels soft it feels edible so you'll find the fish will hang, even if you're doing nothing, a lot of the time the fish will hit that, especially with that Z-Man with its built-in buoyancy, so it sits up off the bottom. So feels real, looks real. You can get it in a colour that suits the region that you're fishing. And they're also affordable. You know, you can go and grab a few packets of plastics, a few packets of jig heads and mix and match those, and you've got a lot of lures in your arsenal just with those handful of packets. And the affordability also comes with my go-tos, which is the, the Z-Man pluckies. Being 10 times tough construction, I've actually caught 50 plus flathead on a single soft plastic. So, you know, compared to buying bait, you go and buy a packet of soft plastics and a packet of jig heads and you can catch a lot of fish on that one packet of soft plastics. So affordability is another thing for, for anglers, you know. It is, it's good value for money to fish soft plastics. You can have a, a little kit and just build your kit up over time. Another good thing with soft plastics is you can rig them a lot of different ways. So I can take that soft plastic and the Z-Man plastics are actually buoyant, which allows me to rig it to fish on the surface, or I can weight it to fish deeper, deeper, deeper in that water column. So with the soft plastic, I can effectively fish that entire water column. Say with a metal lure, I'm, I can throw that metal lure out, but I've got to move it fast. Otherwise it's going to sink down out of the strike zone and that sort of thing. Whereas a plastic, I can, I can fish it up high or I can weight it and I can fish that entire water column. So, soft plastics, stack of models, stack of colours, affordable. I can rig them in a lot of different ways to fish them effectively, and they work. That's pretty much what it comes down to. So, over the coming weeks, stick with us, watch our series on Soft Plastics 101, and we'll show you the anatomy of a jig head, the anatomy of plastic, scent, colour, UV, and all of the other aspects, and then we'll get into some real nuts and bolts rigging as well. So, I hope you stick with us and we'll hopefully produce a few fish along the way as well. Cheers.